Well, we're seeing fires like we've never seen before here in California and across the West. Uh, just recently, I read that there's over 200 fires that are taking place right now and many still aren't under control. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about that today on your morning cup of inspiration. You know, it's interesting that we've gone through floods, we've gone through droughts, and, and I've heard a lot of ministers preaching on uh, Second Chronicles 7.14 that says, and if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, and I'll hear from, the, uh, from heaven, uh, forgive their sin and heal their land. And I've heard that, but I'm not hearing that right now. And that concerns me because, you know, the Lord sends fire and sends, uh, just like he does the drought, just like he does the rain, to get our attention. Look at everything that's happening around the world today, not just in our country, but everywhere. You turn on the news and it's chaos. And I look at this and I'm, I'm reading uh, through the uh, Chronicles here and, and the Lord, this was his response to Solomon. Um, but one thing he said to him before and after this verse, in 2 Chronicles seven thirteen through 15, I'm gonna read it all. If I close the skies so there is no rain, or if I command the locust to devour the land, or if I send a plague among my people, pause for a second, has that not been happening? Has there not been uh, droughts? Has there not been locusts? Has there, we've been seeing this going on and on now for months. But it says, if I send a plague among my people, on 14, and if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked, wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive them and heal their land. Then it says, now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. See, God's talking to us. He's talking to us right now with all that is happening in this world, all that is happening with nature, all that is happening in our skies, all that is happening around us. He's pleading with us. Turn your face upon him. Turn from your wicked ways. Humble yourself. You know, it's also reading about when we stand before the throne, God wants to know what good we did, what bad we did too. Besides having our salvation, we're going to be rewarded on what we've done here on earth. But we have to have Christ in our heart first. But let's get back to this. God's begging us right here. He's telling us, turn from your wicked ways. Seek my face. Humble yourself. I will hear from heaven and I will heal your land. Can we do that today? Will people listen to that today? Are people so hardened that they won't listen to that anymore? I pray that they will. I pray that you will. I pray that I will. I find myself getting caught up and I have to go, Lord, 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 this isn't right. This isn't me. I can't do this. Help me through this. I pray that that is your prayer today too. God bless everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.